We have some reminders. Emergency exits are located at the front and the back. There are two in the front and two in the back. Please silence your cell phones or turn them off as it does upset the toys. Applause and audience interaction though will excite the toys, so join in on the fun. A video videographer will also be filming tonight's performance, so please, no flash photography. The toys want the video to capture their best performance yet. Thanks for being here for The Claw. It is a story of a cow plush named Dot. Her best friend was a stuffed dragon named Aiden. Right after Dot and Aiden were placed inside the claw game, it broke down and they've been stuck in there ever since. And that's just the way Dot liked it. as the one before, all 573 of them. Not that I'm counting, but don't you see? We're the luckiest toys in the whole world. Wake up each morning knowing that our zoo will be amazing.
what? Guess it's broken. Hmm, I'm gonna try and bang on it. The clock! The clock gate! It turned on! Whoa, well, what's happening? The clock gate, it must have turned back on. The one was finally fixed it! What? That's impossible! I really like this game, but last time I didn't get the toy I wanted. Let's see if I can get something this time.
wisest being she knew for assistance. <clears throat> hey, Claw! Claw! You shouted. Sorry. Bother. It's just, I was wondering if, if you could stop, stop picking toys, stop changing everything, or at least stay away from me and Please, I can't take it. I'm afraid I can't do that, God. When it's a toy's time to leave, it's a toy's time to leave, and there's nothing I can do to change that. Sometimes, even the wisest beings can't calm the nerves of a cow in crisis. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, Doc. It's okay. Just stay calm. Things be great out there. It's not so scary. Wait, you're not 
the beanie teenies. Are you beanie teenies? I thought they were the myth. Beanie teenies? Why? I haven't heard that name in a long time. <coughs> well, I haven't heard that name in a long, long time. Well, I haven't heard that name in the longest time. And that's because years ago. Decades ago. Eons ago. We hit ourselves at the very bottom of the claw game. Three feet deep. Three feet deep? No, no, no. At least ten feet deep. We're like ten miles deep. And we've been down there ever since. We haven't seen the majestic glow of these neon lights since the, the 90s. 90s. <laughs> oh, you're old. You're like super old. Indeed, which is why we said the name Beanie. And embrace the name Beanie Elders. <laughs> and as your elders, when we heard your sad, tragic, heartbreaking predicament, we know we just had to help. By telling you the tale of two toys that got picked together. Together? Indeed. A long, long time ago, back in 1994. <laughs> Step three, 
be ready. First up, who is it? And they knew exactly who to ask. I don't know. Every pose I try just doesn't 
feel right. The cow does protest too much to these bears. Let's rock the bear on it. Doc, prepare yourself for departure into the vast unknown. And soon, all of you will face the same mysterious fate. Now, now, I know all this sounds daunting, but the outside world can actually be an incredible place. In fact, every afternoon, I look out at the bowling alley and lead the toys in the most beautiful celebration you could possibly imagine. Ready, everyone? I'm not a pizza. 
and who better to help them than the mighty mutant power turtles? You guys know who I'm talking about, right? The mighty mutant power turtles? Does anyone know who I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, can anyone explain them to me? No. No, they're not not teenage mutant. It's a whole different thing. Okay, so they're basically the mixed teenage mutant. Of Ninja Turtles and the Mighty Power Rangers, and and then they go and then they go on lots of missions and then they're super strong and then they're trying to Um, sorry for what's that? so cool Mighty mutant power turtles. Mighty mutant power turtles. Go, go, 
and power turtles? I thought they went out two years ago. Well, I'll give it a try. Mr. Galapagos. Morning. Mr. Galapagos. 
You can predict the future, right? Yes, definitely. Great. If that can't leave until I'm sure of it. Will Aiden and I always be together? Most likely. <laughs> Most likely? Let's try this again. Aiden and I always be together. Oh, now I'm dizzy. Now I'm dizzy. Uh, most likely. No, no, no! That's not good enough. This oh. time, I'm getting a real answer out of you. Now, Aiden and I always be together. Outlook hazy. Hazy? <laughs> hazy? Stop, calm down. Stop! Stop telling me how to feel. I'm sick and tired of everyone saying, Doc, calm down. Doc, be ready. Can someone please move this bench before I break it? <laughs> I'm not ready, okay? And now, without any doubt, I just, I.
I'm a big believer that God blesses you in many ways. Besides being a teacher at Rose Hill School, the biggest blessing that I've gotten. And I think it probably would speak for the adults who work with a production with kids like this, is this one of the biggest blessings that God could give. We have a lot of people to thank for this production because it, it takes more than just one person. Uh, I can remember in 1991 <laughs> when I started, I know it sounds like so long ago, I told him I was born in 1960 backstage and somebody uh -oh. asked. Uh -oh. <laughs> they don't even know what 1960 was. So, But it really, of all the years I've been a, a part of it since the early 90s, it's the people behind the scenes. It's the parents, it's the caregivers, it's the guardians, it's the grandmas and the grandpas that do amazing work behind the scenes so that their children get a chance to shine when they're on the stage. We would like to just take a few minutes to thank some of those. First, we wanna ask our stage crew to come out, which was led by our stage manager, manager Mackenzie Dockery. If you're a former Rose Hill player, stand up. Thank you. We'd also like to thank our cast party and our costumes. How about those costumes? Led by Miss Barbara Scott. We want to thank our hair which was headed by Selena Amaya. She could stand up. And our makeup, which was headed by Audra Evans. Thank you so much. Our photography, if you've, if you've been on Facebook, you've seen it, they almost look realistic. The wonderful photography led by Miss Higgins over there. And our props, which kind of are also set pieces, but our props department also headed by <coughs> Mrs. Higgins. Our program, which was headed by Kristen Anderson. And publicity, also headed by Frenza Higgins. And our sets done by two teachers at Rose Hill School, Miss Garcia and Mr. Reyes. <laughs> and definitely we also need to thank our tech week crew for all that they have done. Thank you to our people that were here up there. Thank you so much for all your help. choreographers who we were going to invite to come up here. Abby and Skye, you were awesome. Oh, you're right here. <laughs> Ms. Skye was the most nervous person I've ever seen before this morning. Uh, and we have one more person, right? One more person. I like to think of her as the pride of West Virginia. <laughs> a lover of ice cream. But a woman who does more things because she loves the Rose Hill players than probably anybody else. Do you know who I'm talking about? Is she in the room? She sure is. Can the four of us yell out her name? Yes. All together? Yes. Ready? <laughs> Brenda!
have to recognize our sixth graders who will be leaving us Rose Hill players. But as you know, our Rose Hill players always find their way back. Yes. So it's not goodbye. It's see you later. Um, first, we want to um, have Amaya. This is her first Rose Hill production. <laughs> Get their flowers. <laughs> Next, we have Bridget. Where's Bridget? This is her second after this game. We want to thank the administration here at Edison for allowing us to be here. We've been their guests this week and it has been wonderful. We do want to say thank you to them. We want to thank our, our own administrators at our school for their support, our PTA for everything that they've done to support us, and it's most especially you for being a fantastic, fantastic audience. Now I know every one of you are sitting here wanting to go down that slide as well. <laughs> So, we need to take turns, <laughs> but the slide will be available for you. We hope that you'll take the time to come down and greet people, congratulate those wonderful cast. Can we give them one more round of applause? Ha 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 ha!